Hi friends, welcome to another video of databases and programming with Artemakis. In this video, we're going to see how we can export to CSV data from SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. For exporting data in CSV, there are two main methods among other. The first method is to export the data from the result set after we execute our query. For example, we have the database sample DB. And let's select the top 1000 records. So here are our record set is 1000 records. Now, if we click here and we select all records, then we can right click and save results as CSV. Sample export one. It will automatically get the extension csv and now let's copy this query in order to proceed to the second main method of exporting to csv so if we right click on our database in this case sample db go to tasks export data and the first dialog of the sql server import and export wizard comes up so by using this wizard we will export to csv First, we need to select our data source. There are many providers. In this case, we select the SQL Server Native Client 11. We will connect to our SQL Server instance, select our database, in this case, sample B, click Next, and now it's time to choose a destination. The destination we choose in this case is flat file destination. Also, in the file name, we specify the path in the file name in order to export our data into this file. So in this case, I'm using C tutorials sample export to .csv. Here you need to select the locale. In this case, um, I will select English United States and the code page is 1253. Next you can either copy all the data from a table for example from employees table and export it into the file or if we go back you can see that you can also write a query since in this example i'm only exporting the first 1000 records i will write a query to specify the data to transfer so the query is what we copied earlier so it is the select top 1000 query Let's parse the query so we can see that the TSQL statement is valid. Now we click Next and in the Edit Mappings we can change the data types of the data. I will leave it as it is because it's uh, correct and with the Preview button we can check the data to be exported. OK, let's proceed. Now we are presented with two options. We can run immediately this uh, data export and or we can save it as an SSIS package. If we save it as an SSIS package, we can save it in a SQL Server, that is the MSDB system database, or in the, into the file system, like SF, uh, in the form of a file. This is suitable for um, in cases where you need to uh, run future data exports. In this case, we will just run a single uh, data export, so we don't need to save it as an SSIS package, so we just run it immediately. This is a summary of what will be executed by the SQL Server Import and Export Wizard. And if we are good to go, we click on Finish, and the process starts. As you can see, 1000 rows transferred into the CSV file, so we close the dialog and we check the contents of our file. So we open the sample export to CSV file and we can see its contents. Similarly, we can check sample export one file and as you can see, it's exactly the same contents. There are other ways for exporting um, data from SQL Server as well. There is um, SSIS, uh, PCP, and many other methods. But in this example, 
In this video, we focused on the two easier to use methods. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel in order to stay up to date. And do not miss to check my website at artemium.com for curated articles on sql7.net, data access, as well as uh, ebooks and online courses. Thank you very much.